Hey, welcome back to the struggle movement over here. I'm um, Lord help, I'm checking out the basement bathroom, getting some supplies in place and things. Checking on this problem I got next door. Hold okay, tight, let me show you something. So, this right here is in the laundry room, utility room. And that right there is a bunch of water because there's weak. And yeah, that whole thing. I'm trying to tell y'all when it's your turn to get your ass kicked. I mean, the devil ain't gonna leave no stone unturned. Like, what, what, why, what, what? So apparently, this situation where the water meter is has a pinhole leak somewhere around. Um, where is it? Oh, come on. Let's look at the thing. Somewhere down at the base. I've been touching it, trying to identify it's not up here. None of this is wet. But right around in this area, it's damp. <sighs> yeah, nobody got time for none of this. None of it. I need some more newspaper. And you know what's funny about this leak? I happened to come in here one day this week. I think it was yesterday. I happened to come in the room yesterday to do something. And I noticed it was there. And I said to the people that live here who've been doing laundry, I said, when y'all, when were y'all going to tell me that uh got a leak in the laundry room? And the biggest one, the oldest one said, oh, yeah, what's up with that? I don't know how long it's been going on. It's a couple of gallons of water on the floor when I went in there. So then I checked overnight. Like I put the rug down last night before I went to bed. So now we got a couple more gallons of water on the floor. And yeah, this how they do me. This how my life is. Did I tell y'all about the mascot? So apparently my space. I'm in my studio, but um. It's not really my studio right now because this, see this chick right here? She's um overbearing, disrespectful mascot in my space because, you know, we didn't have enough mouths to feed in here and the baby just got, them, got her before they moved back here. So somebody was supposed to take her, but hmm. It didn't happen. What's your situation, ma'am? You you need me to refill this? Is it empty? No, it's not empty. She's bad. She Every time she feels like it, she just knocks out some of these little paper things all over the floor. It's, it was way more than this yesterday. She has hay that she's supposed to snack on. Um, She don't really like it too much. She prefers the leafy green vegetables and some carrots and she eats an enormous amount i swear i ain't never seen nothing like it what is happening here why do i have what is going on in this corner over here see more stuff what what just mm. The living things is trying to take over. And then there's this um tendency she has to bite the cords. Yep. That's my lamp. That lamp over there with the flowers. She was trying to bite that. I moved it. I thought it was in her way so she could go hide behind the sofa. But no. She just like chewing on it because when I moved it, she wouldn't chew on it again.
Yeah, I don't feel like none of this. Mm-mm. But I got a soft spot for living things, so... I try not to put them out in the streets in the cold. Ma'am. Ma'am. What do you need? You see how she's been chewing on this? Like, when she get upset, hungry, or want to just walk around the basement freely, she chews on this. And then you can hear her slapping this platform with her feet in the night sometimes because she's like, hey, um, I, I, I don't feel like doing this. Can y'all let me out? That's what I mean when I say she disrespectful. She just be like, look, um, come get me. She's so cute. I couldn't just like... I could, okay, it's a problem. It's me. I'm the problem. But yeah, this this is what we're doing. Blue-eyed bunnies and the white dog.